All right, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Fizz LR Bardock have officially been revealed. And in case you guys missed the news, this is going to be dropping in part three of the download celebration. Now, as always, we're going to quickly start with his pre-Easy 8 details first, and then jump over to the Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. All right, so currently before the Easy A, his leader skill is Super Fizz types, keep plus four. HP attack and defense plus 100% or extreme fizz types key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70% His 12 key super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage and his 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and seals super attack passive attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing an ultra super attack and then key plus 4 when facing only one enemy and defense plus 60% when facing two or more enemies. So this is Bardock without the easy A. And honestly, he wasn't that bad, you know, like he didn't really stand out in any any way, but he was definitely usable. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill becomes Super Fizz Types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120% or extreme fist types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 90% his 12 key super is greatly raises attack and defense for one turn instead of just the attack and then causes cost of damage and greatly lowers defense and then the 18 key super raises defense for one turn and causes mega cost of damage and seals super attack now his new passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 59% plus an additional attack plus 40% when performing an ultra super attack and then he gets key plus 6 when facing only one enemy and then key plus 4 and defense plus 70% when facing two or more enemies performs a critical hit when there's an enemy whose name includes Frieza Frieza Soldier excluded, and then key plus 12, and attack plus 100%, but there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza, Frieza Soldier excluded once only. So for that first attack, when you're facing, you know, a Frieza, uh, it is going to be extra powerful because he gets the key plus 12, he gets the additional attack plus 100%, and of course, guaranteed crits against all Frieza enemies. Now, of course, everything else does stay the same, same links same categories but we have some calculations here so uh, his additional attack plus 40 percent is calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack plus 262.6 percent when all conditions are met and then attack plus 402.6 percent when there's an enemy whose name includes frieza once only so that's going to be the boost for that first attack and then you know, for Ultra Supers, you are going to be getting 262.6% attack, which is pretty significant. This guy is going to be hitting uh, pretty freaking hard with this Extreme Z Awakening. And, you know, I do think it's a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, I think most people are pretty happy with it. I have seen some people say maybe they were expecting a little bit more, but... I kind of feel like this is the perfect LR Extreme Z Awakening, you know, like not too busted, but very, very good. They give, um, you know, these units exactly what they need, which, you know, in most cases is more defense. So this guy does have, you know, more defense now and also quite a bit more offensive capabilities. He's going to do a lot more damage. And, uh, you know, they also gave him some characteristics that make it more like the actual character right so the additional uh, attack and key against freezes and also the guaranteed crits against freezes um this guy's gonna be getting 18 key supers very very regularly because of course the key plus six here and also the key plus four when facing two enemies and uh yeah there's not really much else to say um just a really really good extreme z awakening now i don't think that it's on the same level as str lr broly you know like lr broly is kind of the i think benchmark for most people when it comes to lr extremes the awakenings in terms of just like how big of a improvement 
the unit made from before the EZA to after the EZA, right? But the main difference here is that LR Broly before the EZA was borderline unusable. You know, he was relega relegated to like a farming unit or a world tournament only. And then with the Extreme Z Awakening, he became arguably top 10, maybe even top 5 in the game. Whereas Bardock, I don't think it's going to be quite that impressive, but he's still going to be really, really impressive. Don't get me wrong, like I've been waiting for Bardock's Extreme Z Awakening for a very long time, so I'm glad it did him justice. I'm glad the EZA is really good, and uh, I can't wait for it to drop in two days, apparently, according to the wiki here, right? September 23rd, 2021, so I guess that's when... Part 3 starts? Maybe? That would make sense, right? So, yeah, according to yeah the Dokkan Wiki, September 23rd, 2021, uh, it's the 21st right now, so in two days, the Bardock EZ8 will become available. That's most likely when Part 3 also starts. And, um, yeah, there you go, guys. Viz LR Bardock Extreme Sea Awakening coming very soon. Um... Let me just make sure there's nothing I missed about this ECA. I mean, of course, he does get a 5 increase or 5 level increase to a super attack. So that's also going to help with the uh, damage output. And stats, of course, stay the same because LRs don't get additional stats with Extreme Z Awakenings. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Yo, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this ECA. Are you satisfied with it? Are you impressed? Or are you... Maybe a little bit disappointed if you were expecting something more, but like I said, man, I think they did a really good job. I think uh, for most LR EZAs, all I really want is just better base stats, or not base stats, but better base boosts for attack and defense, and then if they add some more flavor to the card, make it a little bit more, not canon, but just like, you know, give it characteristics that reflect the actual character that the card is based off. That's all we really need, you know? And, uh, yo, Bardock, as far as, like, the card art goes, like, behind me right now, this, this, this right here, I think he probably has, like, one of my favorite arts in the game as well, so being able to see that more now, because I actually get to use this unit more, is, uh, gonna be fun. Okay, so, there you go. That's all I gotta say, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video signing out